That is wrong with yours. Welcome to our lab where we make boring things amazing. And where we make amazing things spectacular. What are we doing today? Well, we are going to do an experiment. Oh, I love experiments. With this apple and this iodine and this lemon juice. Now, what quality are we learning about? Self-control. Uh -huh. That's right. Self-control. And we all have friends, right? Do you have friends? Yeah, I, I have friends. Do you have friends? Well, and, and Kaylee and I are, I think we're pretty good friends, right? And when you are friends, like good friends with someone, something happens. Do you know what happens? What happens is you start acting like them. You start doing things like them. Like if so, maybe your friends, every time something happens, they go, oh, well, guess what? You hang around them and something happens. Guess what you do? Oh. It just, it just happens. Because you spend time with them, you become more like them. So let's use some science to, to, to show that. First, we cut an apple into small pieces. Here's an apple for you and an apple for me. And we put this aside for a snack later. Now. Do you want to put your thing in lemon juice or iodine? Iodine. Iodine. Okay. So let's let's show them what it looks like now. Now let's put it in. And now we wait. I think they're ready. Oh, I think you're right. Okay. That is cool. Oh. Now, ew! That is wrong with yours. That looks gross. Now, this one represents the friends who are not very nice. Maybe they say bad words. Maybe they're disrespectful to their parents, and they aren't making the right choices. Now, d does that apple kind of become like that liquid? Yeah, now what about this one? This represented friends who say good words and they are kind to their siblings. They obey. That's they right. Obey. They obey right away with a good attitude. And look, if you spend time with those kinds of friends, do you think it's going to be easy to say bad words and have a bad attitude? No, when someone is super happy, it's hard to be sad. That's right. So. We need to be making sure that we are hanging around what kind of friends? Good. Good friends. So, let's go play some games. Jenga can help us remember self-control. And the whole point of the game is to get blocks out without knocking over the tower. And so this can help us remember self-control because if you just jerk one out, the whole tower might fall over. So you need to think about it and then do it carefully. All right. Another game you can play is you can print this off, off the website, and you can either just cut them up and then hide them in the room and you can go find them. Or you can color each one a different color and then you can assign, like if you have a lot more people, you can assign a person like, okay, you look for the red piece of paper, you look for the blue one. And then you can see who can find them and then put them all in order of what they are in the Bible verse. Another game you can play is the dice walk. So what you do is you put like somewhere where it's the finish line, then you roll a dice, you roll a dice, and whatever number you get, then you take that many steps. So you have to show self-control by only taking that many steps. Another game you can play is 
tag, but this one has a little bit of a different thing and you have a base in it. Okay, and so when you're running around and the tagger it person is trying to get you, where are you gonna run? You're gonna run where it's safe, to the base. And so when temptations come our way, we need to go to where it's safe and we need to run to Jesus. And he's the one who can help us overcome that temptation and show self-control. So those are the games that we have for you today and we hope you guys have lots of fun practicing self-control. So until next time, bye. bye.